Hello, and welcome to Krita Developers Tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect Qt Creator to an existing build environment. I have already built the environment itself. It is called N5. I used official building manual. Please find the link in the description. So, my environment has three main parts. The main one is the script that configures the environment. You can see it modifies path environment variable. It points Krita and CMake to proper location of dependencies. Then there are source directory called Krita and build directory called bkrita. I have already built Krita in this environment, so everything is ready and works. My main goal now is to connect these directories to Qt Creator. This process is a bit tricky, because a single wrong step will break the build directory and I will have to rebuild Krita from scratch, which may take about half an hour, and I don't want to lose this time. So, firstly, I should start Qt Creator and locate CMake list txt file in Krita source tree. I go to my environment and select that. As you can see, Qt Creator has discovered my existing build directory. But I should not let it use this directory. If Qt Creator configures the project in this directory before the environment is fully set up, it will destroy the build directory. Therefore, I first select a fake build directory with release and debug information configuration. I select that, and then I go to Manage Kits section and configure my build environment inside Qt Creator. First, I go to CMake Configuration tab. You can see that Qt Creator discovered my system-wide CMake, which is correct, but it automatically enabled Auto Run CMake option. I should disable that. Otherwise, Qt Creator may accidentally run CMake concurrently while Krita builds in the terminal, and it will certainly break my build environment. Then I go to Debuggers tab. As you can see, Qt Creator discovered only Microsoft Debugger that was installed with Windows 10 SDK. But I don't need that. I need GDB, which comes with MingW that I used for building my Krita. So I press Add and create the new debugger. Let's choose name MingW64. Then I go to MingW installation folder and select its executable, gdb.exe. Next step is to configure compilers. As you can see, Qt Creator discovered C compiler, which is from MingW 7.3, which is correct, but it hasn't discovered C compiler. So I press add gcc C and select g.exe. Take care and don't select c++.exe executable. This one is used for compatibility with Microsoft compiler, which is not what we want. Type name like gcc mingw64. So now we have set C compiler and C++ compiler. Let's move to locating Qt. As you can see, Qt Creator discovered a correct version of Qt, which is placed in N5 environment. So we can move to the final page. In the Kits tab, we should select all the things we have just configured. First of all, it is not temporary anymore. Then select Compiler. C compiler is set correctly, but C++ compiler should be selected manually. Select Debugger we have just created. Qt version is already selected correctly. CMake Generator. Here is the tricky part. I didn't fully follow official manual and used Ninja Generator instead of Makefiles. It builds Krita almost twice faster on Windows. If you are on Linux, relax and use standard Makefiles. Whatever build system you use, you should also select secondary generator called CodeBlocks. This generator is needed for Qt Creator to generate semantic information for features like class hierarchy or shortcuts like Ctrl Shift U or F2. The final option. CMake configuration is the most important. It makes Qt Creator pass some auto-generated options to CMake. The problem is, we have already pre-configured all these options in our build directory. So if Qt Creator tries to pass them again, most probably it will cause a full rebuild, which we are trying to avoid. So I remove all these options and leave the field completely blank. Finally, our building kit is configured but we still cannot use it on the main build directory because environment variables are still not set up properly. 
so I press Configure Project button on the fake build directory. Configuration obviously fails. I go to Projects section and locate Build Environment tab. You remember that I have a special script for setting up path environment variable, so I have to set up the same value in Qt Creator. You see that this variable has some random value at the moment. I go to Terminal with the environment already initialized, type set, or if you are on Linux you can use env command, and just copy the proper value of path environment variable. Then I go to Batch Edit section and paste the copied value. Qt Creator automatically starts reconfiguration of the project, and this time it is going to be successful. Now I should just wait a bit. Configuration done, but done in the fake build directory. Now I can finally go to the project section again and switch to the original Krita build directory. Reconfiguration is started, let's hope it will also be successful. Configuration is done, let's check if it didn't break the build directory. Go to build, build Krita, and see the output. Compilation is finished in 3 seconds, so it was success. We have connected Qt Creator to our build directory properly. We can also check if semantic works. Let's go to Kiss image and try to press F2 on some symbol. Yes, it works fine. Now, the next step. I need to be able to run Krita from Qt Creator. Right now, if I press Run button, then Krita starts and crashes with a fatal error. That is expected because Krita cannot run from the build directory. I go to Project section again, select Run menu, and see that Qt Creator tries to run the binary from the build directory instead of the installation directory. I press Add button, select Custom Executable, and select Krita.exe from installation directory which is folder E in my environment. One more step I should do is to add deployment step, which would actually install Krita before running. I go to deployment section and press add deploy step, build. The default value is perfectly fine. Let's check running again, start Krita and wait. It can take a bit of time because Krita is regenerated resources database. Yes, it runs fine. Let's check if debugging works. We have already configured GDB, so it should work out of the box now. Start Krita. Krita starts perfectly fine. Let's try to pause it. Yes, it works. We have a backtrace and all that we usually want from a debugger. So, now IDE is fully configured. I can build Krita from Qt Creator, I can run it, and I can debug it. I showed this example on Windows, but steps on Linux and OS X are basically the same, just try it out. That was Krita Developer Tutorials, I hope you learned something new today. Please like, subscribe, and see you next time!